Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with something I just started doing, so I figured I'd share. I apologize about the length of time between videos. I've had some personal issues come up in my life, and I've been dealing with them accordingly. This should not affect the channel overall too much, however, I will probably be doing two videos a month, occasionally a third or a fourth. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to count superworms and mealworms. But if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. Alright, now let's get us an estimate of our yield. Remember, this will not be exact, it will be roughly approximate, at best. I remove all of the food before I begin to weigh the worms. If 10 weighs 8 grams, and 20 weighs 15 to 16 grams, and they collectively weigh 510 grams, to scale, we should have roughly 637 worms, give or take some still growing. With the way my bin is, I should have more than the estimate, since I still have worms growing. I have to get a better set of sifters. The better you keep the worms sorted, the more accurate your count will be. Right now, I don't have much reason to do this other than sheer curiosity to see the rate at which my colony is growing. I do not feed off my supers yet, so every worm will become a beetle until next summer. My colony should grow at an exponential rate. My goal is to have several colonies into the thousands. This is just a test run of weighing. If any of you are curious, and didn't know how it was generally done. I want to also share something I've learned recently. I bought a caliper. I've been measuring how fat some of the worms are. I'm collecting measurements to create a sorter that is easy to make so you guys can build one right at home yourselves. It may take me a while to get it right, but once I have it working, I will share it with you guys. As of right now, worms I would consider pupating would be anything close to 5.5 millimeters. Most of these worms are not ready yet, as some of the bigger ones are only measuring 5 millimeters. I'm going to give them until the end of the month and then start the pupation process. I'm going to try the largest ones I have and then some that are right at 5 millimeter and then others that are under and see if there is a difference. But until then, the principle behind counting superworms is the same for mealworms. Count out 20 or 30 nice sized mealworms, see what they weigh, repeat the process, then weigh your batch after sorting. Divide the weight of the set you counted by the weight of the batch of worms. Then multiply that number you originally counted. Here is a hypothetical. If 30 mealworms weigh 1 gram and you have 1 pound of mealworms, you should have 13,000 mealworms, give or take. I haven't weighed mealworms enough and this was just a made up weight for them. I don't think adding mealworms into the video outside of this example is necessary as even this example is applicable to superworms. However, if it is something you guys would want to see, I can do a video of weighing what I currently have. Tell me in the comments. Well guys, that's about it. If you have it in your critter loving heart, give this video a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. And as always guys, from the gizzards and I, have a wonderful day.